Johannes Justus Schuyler was a Tory with Patriot roots, who was used by American General Benedict Arnold to repel the British and Indian forces of Colonel Barry Street, Ledger and Joseph Brandt from their siege of Fort Stanwix following the Battle of Oriskany during the American Revolution. He was the son of Peter D. Schuyler and Elizabeth Barbara Herkimer. His mother was the sister of American General Nicholas Herkimer, and Honios claimed that his father was a cousin of American General Philip Schuyler. Honios grew up in the Mohawk Valley in the colony of New York prior to the American Revolution. Honyost's parents were poor and apparently he socialized more with the Mohawks than with the white patriots of the area. He has been variously described as dim-witted, coarse and ignorant, a half-idiot, a madman, and a lunatic, but also as possessing no small degree of shrewdness whatever the traits of this singular being. The Mohawks saw him as special, perhaps as a prophet in contact with the supernatural. Honyos tended to dress the part, adopting Iroquois manners as well as clothing. Tory leaders are said to have used his influence with the Mohawks to help maintain their support in defeating the revolutionary Americans. This influence was turned against the British in 1777, when Honyost was captured along with Lieutenant Walter N. Butler from St. Ledger's army at her meeting of Tories at the home of a Mr. Shoemaker in German flats, near Fort Dayton. Butler was sentenced to be hanged, but eventually escaped. Hon Joost Schuyler was also condemned to death. His mother and brother Nicholas Schuyler traveled from their home in Little Falls, New York to Fort Dayton where he was being held. Presumably around the same time that General Arnold's force arrived to aid in the defense of Fort Stanwix, which had recently been captured and rebuilt by the Americans and renamed Fort Schuyler, as Mrs. Schuyler pleaded with Arnold to spare her son's life, it was suggested that, because of Hon Yost's influence with the Mohawks and Tories, he be sent to Fort Stanwix to alert Street. Ledger's forces of Arnold's intention to attack and to greatly exaggerate the number of forces. His mother offered to allow herself to be taken hostage to ensure her son's return. Arnold agreed however to take Hon Yost's brother Nicholas hostage in her place. Hon Yost's clothing was hung up and shot to make it look like he had narrowly escaped his capture by the Patriots. Then he and an Oneida messenger traveled by different routes to the vicinity of Fort Schuyler. Separately they talked up the size of Arnold's army among both Brandt's warriors and Saint Ledger himself. Hon Yost is said to have looked up and pointed to leaves in the trees when asked how many men Arnold had. The Iroquois rejected Hon Yost's tale, but gave up the siege when reports from other Iroquois messengers arrived with increasing estimates. The Iroquois and British left the siege through Oneida Lake. Hon Yost followed the British forces a short way and then returned to Fort Dayton. His brother was released, but Hon Yost soon ran away to rejoin the Tories.